God bless you, Templo family. This is Pastora Jackie, and I'm excited to be here with you tonight to be able to share um, uh, brief uh, thoughts with you and uh, some scriptures that the Lord placed in my heart. I'm always happy in the beginning of the year because I feel like it's uh, time for us um, to look back on a year, and this past year was like no other, but to look back on the previous year and evaluate our walk with the Lord and take inventory as we enter the new year and set goals to be able to present to the Lord and um, achieve them through the year. So it's an exciting time, and the greatest thing is that we start the year uh, seeking the Lord, um, and this year more than than. Uh, the, the previous year, the Lord has emphasized that we should seek Him and seek Him with all our hearts and you know, to just come before Him, um, also to thank Him for keeping us through this past year. And so tonight I, wanna, I have two scriptures that I want to share with you. And the first one uh, is found in Hosea chapter 10 verse 12 and it says break up your fallow ground for it is time to seek the Lord till he comes and rains righteousness upon you um, now fallow ground is uh, an agricultural term of course and um, it, it refers to a to a soil or ground that was once plowed or tilled Basically, you know, we, we, we till and we plow the ground in order to be able to place seed in it. And this is what it's referencing, except this, um, this ground now lies in waste, hardened by the sun or hardened by the elements and needs to be broken up and mellowed before it is ready to receive again. And... To break up fallow ground means, spiritually means, to address those areas in our lives where we have allowed um, distractions or, you know, uh, circumstances or um, tribulation and, you know, just, just conflicts, uh, the day-to-day -day things that sometimes deter us from our personal and collective purpose. Uh, in the body of Christ. And so we know that there's so many things that, that uh, compete for our attention. Uh, and those things tend to uh, unfocus us from our true goal and our true purpose. And that's why Romans chapter 12, verse 2 says that um, we should not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but... Um, rather be transformed by the renewing of our mind uh, that we may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect not just the permissible will of God because you know God permits things sometimes to happen but the perfect will of God and this is a time when we need to seek him this is a time when we um, seek him like we've never sought him before not just because we're still uh, struggling with a pandemic, but uh, the events of these past two weeks tells us that, you know, the Lord is near and that we need to um, really seek him with all our hearts uh, like we've never done before. Um, that's, that's what's going to enable his word uh, to be planted in our hearts because as we seek him, uh, we receive that rain and that, that renewal, that water, that, that living water um, in our hearts uh, that will enable that, that seed to be planted and not only planted in good soil, but also for us to be fruitful. Um, one of the questions that we need to ask ourselves is why should our soil be good for planting? Um, so, and that basically is in order for us to be fruitful. Uh, John chapter 15 reveals uh, even more to us 
Uh, Jesus expressed the reason why we should be fruitful in verse 8 when he says, By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit. And the fruit that, he's, the, the, that Jesus is uh, referring to is the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, um, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Um, Galatians chapter 5 says against this, there is no law. And Jesus mentions that we need to bear fruit um, so we can, so uh, the Lord or his Father would be glorified and for us to be his disciples. That is, that is a mark of a disciple, that they bear fruit fruit that we are able to express and to live and to walk out um, uh, and to express those 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 fruits um, with a world that um, needs them all so you know it's time for us to just seek God we just need to purpose in our hearts as Daniel had, did just to seek the Lord and to continue in prayer I know that God um, has great things for us this year um, we don't look, um, as Pastor said, uh, as Christians, we're not just uh, looking at today. That's short. That's a short distance or a short view of, of um, what God can do. We, we, we're always looking beyond and we're looking forward by faith, knowing that God will do what he does best. And so tonight I want to just um, encourage you to seek the Lord and to, to refresh yourself in his presence, to allow him to um, just pour that, that, that living water and to um, just surrender to him. And we're going to uh, finish with a word of prayer. So Father, we come before you, Lord, thirsty for the living water that you have offered, Lord. You said, if anyone thirsts, come unto me and drink. And God, we want the water that you, that will replenish us, that you provide, that will replenish us, that will replenish our strength as we continue in this journey and these turbulent times, God. So Lord, we need you. Above all things, we need you, God. We need you. You said if we would come closer to you, you would come closer to us. And so, Lord, I pray for those tonight that feel far from you or those whose hearts have been hardened, Lord, by the events that have happened throughout the past year, Lord. Many have experienced loss, Father. Many have experienced, Lord, um, deep uh, depression. Others have um, experienced illness and others have experienced uh, tribulation. But God, you promised, Lord, to be with us in the midst of all things, Father. So I pray for those that feel far from you, whose heart has hardened with the trials and the burdens of the times. God, I ask you that you would rain on them, Lord that you would pour your spirit upon them, Lord, that they would be able to feel your presence, that they would be able to receive, Lord, that rain that comes from the Holy Spirit, Father, that rain, that living water, Lord, that allows us to refresh our soul and our hearts, Lord. Father, renew our strength and refresh our soul with your love and your peace, Lord. Father, I bless your people tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. So God bless you, and uh, we hope to that you tune in throughout the week for all the um, worship and um, opportunities that, that um, we have and that you would be with us on Sunday morning. Invite a friend, have someone listen in, and we will see you then. God bless you.